Montgomery County Community College President Dr. Karen A. Stout was joined by founding trustees, faculty, administrators, and support staff at the Central Campus in Bluebell on December 3rd for the dedication of Founders Bridge. The bridge, which was part of the Fine Arts Center renovation and expansion, provides a walking path between the Fine Arts Center and Parkhouse Hall for the very first time. This bridge connects the arts and sciences, the arts and the social sciences, the arts and student affairs. The bridge is also a connector of our history. Past traditions, the old art barn to the present and future. Recognizing the importance of preserving the college's rich history for future generations, and inspired by the historical marker seen on many university campuses, Dr. Stout sponsored the bridge as part of the College Foundation's Courage to Create Capital campaign, which enlists the support of private citizens to help support the renovation and expansion of the Fine Arts Center. The facility officially opened in spring 2009 and was recently a recipient of the county's Montgomery Award for Land Development. Well, it came to me on a long summer run along the Charles River and through Harvard Yard while I was participating as a faculty member this summer at the Harvard New Presidents Academy. It was on that run that I was mesmerized, frankly, by the Harvard campus and all of the markers on the buildings, on the bridges, on the walkways that were given by primarily private donors. But all of those markers told a story about Harvard from the late 1600s to today. Very powerful story. And I thought to myself, very few community colleges really are able to tell that story. There's no reason, though, that as the president of the college now, that I shouldn't start trying to tell that story so that a president 400 years from now of Montgomery County Community College, just like today's Harvard president who walks the Harvard Yard and sees gifts from the late 1600s that transformed that campus, that I shouldn't figure out a way to begin to tell that story and set that tone. Founding president Dr. Leroy R. Brenlinger attended the dedication, along with founding faculty Alec Goldberg, Richard Marshall, and Albert Rauer, founding trustee William Strausberg, and founding support staff member Joyce Benedict. Current Board of Trustees Chairman Mike Bittner also participated in the dedication. The bridge, the style of which is called a pony truss, was put into place on March 18, 2009. Measuring 75 feet long and 8 feet wide, it has a weight capacity of 8,500 pounds. It features a metal surface that weathers naturally for a rustic appearance.